How's it going, everyone? Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on a video, since I've recorded a video, but I have an excuse. Um, I went out of town for a week. It was a work conference, and I was in San Antonio, and uh, it was really, really cold. And I had to walk a lot through downtown San Antonio, and I think the wind chill was like 22 degrees the days that we were there. And if you've ever walked downtown in a city on really cold, windy days, you know that the wind gusts just kind of turn certain corners and the wind will just knock you over. So I was walking around in that. I did not pack very well for the trip. I just had this very thin hoodie with me as far as like trying to stay warm and um, yeah so eventually by the end of the week walking back and forth through San Antonio to the conference center from our hotel back and forth um, I ended up getting sick and I got pretty sick and I I don't get sick very often it's been a really long time since I've gotten sick like sick sick and uh Man, it, it knocked me out. So I got sick on Thursday. I was still in San Antonio and I uh, had like, I don't know, fever, chills, just not feeling great at all. Um, and then that Friday I came back and I was sick the whole weekend. I started to feel better the next week. Um, but I just still had some a lot of drainage. I had like two days straight of sinus headache that would not go away. And finally, Thursday of this week, so from Thursday to Thursday, essentially, I felt I started feeling better and feeling myself again. So now I'm ready to make another video. And we're going to do what's called candling on this video where we're going to take a light with this like candling hood on it where we can set an egg on top of the light and we can see if we've got some growth some baby chicken growth inside the egg and we are on day nine of the eggs incubating and it's from anywhere between seven day seven and seven and day seven and day 10 you want to do your first candling check and then day 14, you want to check for a second time. And then day um, 20, 18. day 18, day 18, you check for the final time. And then um, once you're sure that everything inside your incubator has a baby chicken in it, then we'll take the egg turner out. And the egg turner is the thing that spins the, the eggs around while they're incubating. We'll take that out and get ready for the lockdown. Yeah, lockdown which is when we're expecting the eggs to start hatching. So we have some of these eggs that we're not sure about, just kind of a test. I mean, we're not sure about any of the eggs, but there were some that were given to us um, by well, a friend. So It's an experiment because they were in the refrigerator. Yeah, some of the eggs that were in here, seven of them? No, nine of them. Nine think. of them, they were... Uh, put in the refrigerator and then given to us later to put into the incubator. So it's kind of an experiment to see if we're actually going to have growth inside there. So let's see. We'll do our first egg. Nice and warm. Light on. Oh. Wow, this one is super dark. I can't see anything through this. We might have to go into a dark room. Yeah. It's too bright out here. Try a, a brown egg. Okay. Brown is a little better. A little easier to see. Make sure when you're putting them back, you put them down the, the um, top way. Pointy part pointy down. Pointy part down. It's top. Maybe we take this into the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom's really dark. Okay. Let's go Let's, to the bathroom with it. We'll do a location change. To work because it's a little too bright in here. Come to our bathroom. To the bathroom. And we're in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be right. ready. Okay. That's just enough. 
Try this again in the dark. Oh yeah, that one's good because you can already see the vein development in this I one. Can mm -hmm. Here, can you can you focus it more? Is there any way to show that or no? Daddy, I can see the vein. I know. Let me see if I can mess with this. Can you slide that at all? Here. Turn it a little. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see. Yeah, well, that's kind of tough. Okay. The white ones might be easier. All right, let's keep trucking. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Big old air bubble on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we are entering the refrigerated egg stage. These will be questionable. Oh, yep, I see a big vine right there. Huh. There's a big vein running down the side of it, I think, but... Ooh, it's red. I don't know. What is that? Hmm. It's got, like, a design. <laughs> is there an air pocket? Yeah. Yeah, there's an air pocket. Mm-hmm. Huh. I see veins in the air pocket, Maybe but... we should keep it. It's almost, almost have like a yeah, it's like a little Christmas bit. design. Oh nope, this one's pretty bright. Nope, yeah. nothing in that one. Six style, nope. Mm. Nope. Nothing in that one. No. The refrigerated ones are a fat. Nope. not really working out for us. I think, I think a fat, fat. Which, you know, we didn't have like a lot of high hopes. Oh, <gasps> wow. that one's got a lot of growth in it. Wow, look how well you can see it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit more. Oh my gosh, Mom, that one has so much veins. Yeah. That one's a refrigerator. That one is, yeah. Cool. Well, we had two of the refrigerators work out. So that's good. Okay. Um, Let's go back to the kitchen. Okay. So we finished the candling process. It is still super dark in here. Let me turn the light on. There we go. All right. So we finished the candling process. And out of all of them, we had 11 eggs out of the 42 eggs that we started with. 11 eggs had no development in them. Out of the refrigerated eggs, there was nine. Two of them, of the nine, had development in them. So it is possible to refrigerate and save the eggs, just not a uh, super high development rate. And they were refrigerated for like two weeks. Two weeks so in the refrigerator? I'm yeah. Sure, like, the longer the refri or longer you refrigerate, the longer. Yeah, that's true. The longer you refrigerate, the lower chance you have, maybe, because they were in there for two weeks. Um, but it still leaves us with 31 developing eggs. And uh, that's awesome. 31 chickens. So Steph is setting the, the lighting is crazy. We've Oh, it's because of this. Oh. Great. Well, there you go. Steph's setting the incubator back up for our 31 eggs. <laughs> what? Um so we are hatching eight of them for Pops. No, no, no. Eight of them for Brie. Eight of them for Brie. And then I thought I was hatching some for Pops, but then Pops told me he only wants them if they're black chicks. And the reason is, is because he said that he, black chickens tend to look like crows to hawks. Mm. So he only keeps like dark colored chickens now. Okay. And I didn't realize that until last Sunday. He told me that at lunch. Okay. 
That's so pretty cool. If we don't have any black chicks, then we're going to have a lot of chickens. 20 chickens to keep. Mom, mom. With our 12 that we just no, had. No, Okie dokie. Well, that's it for the candling video. So thanks for joining us. And um, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Tell everyone to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> All right, bye guys.